hello my gorgeous ones welcome to indigo tarot congratulations my virgos you have a wonderful spread so i started the spread about a year ago i guess it was um this is how does he feel about me and i do another one for the uh, male version is what does she want from me i noticed that there were other people doing it as well but i'm bringing this back so virgos won the contest they get there how does he feel about me what does she want from me free um and the rest will be for paid content other signs so um for those of you sorry spirits already coming in for those of you that don't know me welcome my name is cindy i am the modern day spiritual advisor i use multiple modalities including tarot to help you on your path and now the author of my upcoming book series concepts create reality so my gorgeous ones congratulations <clears throat> pardon me i've already pulled out the spread i'll explain to the cards if i need to some clarification for you guys um i'm going to use the chinese tarot deck this is the romantic tarot so um even though it doesn't show up too well on the camera it is a good deck so it is a great deck for this one actually so let's get started look at you so how does he see me in the world you have the six of wands so the six of wands is like someone who is adoring you someone who just really has their eye on you and someone so he sees you in the world this way. He sees you as this light in the world. He sees you as, as being able to draw people's attention and um, working really hard for what you have. Um, he sees that anything that you want to do, you, 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 you make it happen. Like I'm, I'm watching him look at you, like seeing that you don't fail at everything that you do. So this is how he sees you in the world. And he's got his eye on you too. He really, really, really likes you. Whoever this is really likes you. What are you going to do? Because I kind of feel like you're holding back. I kind of feel like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. I feel like something's going on here. What's the contradiction? Um, I know in the past, many, many times, um, for some, it's not just once. It's like several for some of you that you have been so hurt and you're just waiting for them to show their true selves but i'm telling you if you continue to do that you're going to bring that energy back in and that's what you're going to attract so let it go now how does he feel about me how does he feel about you virgo you have the nine of coins wow like he feels like he's ready and willing to put in the work. He feels like he's ready for a relationship. He also feels like you are this fiercely independent person who has like worked very, very hard to get where you want, where you're at. And he feels like, will he ever get that chance to walk with you? You are so fiercely independent right now. That's what I'm feeling like he feels. It's like, can I open her up? emotionally will she give me her heart is she willing to even try i am going to do whatever it takes i have worked very hard to get to this point just like i feel like she has but i feel like virgo you're pulling back i so like some of you are so used to this is not everybody but some of you are so used to having that person that's really really wounded and gone through so much trauma and can't love themselves and then you love them until they love themselves and then it just sort of blows up that's what you're used to but that's not what you've called into especially if you've known me for like the two three years that i've been on youtube that's not what you've been clearing for you've been clearing for this relationship that's reciprocity that's going to be able to give you like you can give it them so this person feels like um, you're independent and some of them feel like you're about the money. Yeah, that's what they feel. So, that's for some of you. Now, in the third position, what is he offering or bringing to the table in this relationship? What's he offering to you? You got the Queen of Wands. This is a very, very passionate queen. Now, the Queen of Wands, to me, the queen, or queen just means that they're not necessarily a fire sign, but they can be, which is a Sagittarius, a Leo, 
or a um, Aries. So I do feel some Leo. Oh, I feel Leo and Aries. But it could be Saggies. Yeah. Um, but they're not necessarily any of those three. They're just very passionate in what they do. Um, and what he's bringing to the table is the fact that he is ready to love. And this is really interesting what I'm getting from the both of you. What I'm seeing is that you're so used to opening your heart to somebody that is wounded and needs your love. And this person does not. This person loves because that's like their talent to be able to love immediately. And so you're looking for this person to, wow, this is what they're telling me. You're looking for this person because you're so used to it. You're looking for this person to be broken and he's not. And so you're sort of waiting. But this person's got your number. <laughs> this person has got your number because they're like, no, I open my heart because I want to open my heart because that's what I do. Or, or I don't open my heart. And I don't need you to fix me. I want to join you. I want to start experiencing life with you. Yeah. So, wow. Okay. So he is a king. Even though it says queen, it, to me the gender doesn't matter. Uh, it's the energy. So, the fourth position is, what does he want from you? What does he want from you? So you have the six of coins or the six of pentacles, which tells me he wants balance. He wants that back and forth. He wants reciprocity. He wants you to open your heart and be genuine when you open it because that's what he does. He's genuine when he opens it. And he, listen, he, he's not going to lie to you if you ask him some questions. Ask him the questions. Don't wait for the other shoe to drop. Ask him the questions. So he wants you to be balanced he wants you to it to he doesn't want you to always show like all the love he wants you to receive some love too he wants to go back and forth he wants to see how this works he wants to experience these things with you that's what he's wanting from you now what is he doing in his everyday life to help this relationship move forward look at this you have the lovers oh my god are you kidding me the lovers. This is a karmic card. You guys know this is a 50-50 card to me. He is willing to put in the work cuz he understands that there he understands that there's a bond there that needs to be experienced, whether that's from this lifetime or others. But there's something there with you. So he is doing whatever it takes right now. If that means for some of you that he cuz maybe he's dating you and others for some of you, if that means him letting go of the others because you're going to get serious with him. And that's kind of what I feel like this, this person is doing. Like this person maybe has started dating, like was already dating two or three people because they weren't really serious about anyone. Uh, they were just sort of seeing. And then you came along and they feel like this bond and they're willing to let go of those others. But they're waiting for you to open your heart genuinely. Spirit is telling me genuinely, not the way that you know how to open your heart to heal someone. They want a genuine from you. I want to love. I want to love. I want a partner. I want a life with someone. Okay. So this person is doing whatever it takes. He's not going anywhere. I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. Not unless you like completely like shut him down I mean of course then but I don't feel like that I feel like I feel like this guy is like um really smooth and I don't mean in a manipulative way I just feel like he's been through so much he's a king so he's been through so much that it maybe in his younger days he was passionate like really passionate so passionate that he would get angry about things and shut people down but that's not who he is now he's like willing to put in the work he's already done a lot of work so wow this guy's what are you guys doing like you got to open that heart i understand in the in your past in your trauma listen for some of you it hasn't just been once that you've been traumatized in love it's been several times that you've been traumatized in love 
But if you've been with me for the last two, three years and, and you have really been clearing, this is about what you've called in, not what you're used to loving. The way that you're used to loving is you're used to loving someone who is uh, in trauma or can't love themselves and then you heal them. This is different. This guy's healed. This guy just wants to experience life with you. But now you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. Right? So, what are you going to do, my beautiful Virgos? So, in the sixth position, uh, will he make next contact? We have the seven of coins. So, I kind of feel like, yes. I feel like in this whole thing, I'm seeing coins, which I love to see. When I'm talking about a long-term relationship, I would rather see coins... I would rather see both. I would rather see more. I would rather see both coins and cups, but I would really rather see coins because to me, coins tells me that you're willing to put in the work for a long term relationship. But the coins here, along with the lovers, means that he's ready. Are you? Are you ready? Because he's ready. So I feel like he will make next contact. I feel like he'll do it if that's what it takes and he's not really in any hurry he's like kind of reminds me of I'll be here until like I'm not going anywhere so you can get anxious and you can get sad and you can get mad and you can get whatever but I'm like trying to experience life with you very interesting my Virgos what are you gonna do Look at this. This is what he wants to do with you. The nine of coins is on top of the lovers. He wants to spend that time with you. He is ready. Look at the nine of coins by the by the king or queen. But what are you doing over here? He wants you to balance. Get out of your head. Open your heart. Join him in this relationship. Join him in this experience. So what if you don't know if he's going to marry you? So what? Enjoy the experience. He's willing to see where this goes. Are you willing to see where this goes? Or is this going to be just something that you're sort of waiting for the other shoe to fall in and then, or the other shoe to fall, and then all of a sudden that's what you've called into you. And this guy's like, well, she hasn't opened her heart and she's not going to open her heart. So, you know, I'm wanting someone who's going to open their heart because that's what I deserve. All right, my gorgeous ones, have a wonderful, wonderful month. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, for those of you that are interested, not in these cards, I don't have that link below uh, in the original cards, but for my website, the link is in the description box. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.